Also, Capcom needs to slap Dino Crisis 1 and 2 on GOG and put Clock Tower 3 and Haunting Ground on modern hardware. I don't want to see remakes of those because I imagine all sorts of shit will get changed. Including, like, the goofy-ass cinematics in Clock Tower 3. I don't want to see the goofy-ass cinematics in Clock Tower 3 go away. Just port them. Chapter 9, Karma, two hours until dawn! <laughs> Niku, you love Billy Bear. Anyways, I tweaked with some... Hey, thanks, bot. I tweaked with some NVIDIA broadcast settings, so hopefully that uh, has... will no longer result in me getting cut off anymore, but we'll see. Namely, lowered the, uh, the, the, the strength of the nose, noise removal. Alright, we gotta make sure the doggo lives. Otherwise, I'm gonna be very upset. Although, I also would not be opposed to seeing a Dino Crisis remake in RE Engine. I just also want Dino, ye old Dino Crisis 1 and 2 put on GOG. And also port Dino Crisis 3, even though Dino Crisis 3 is terrible. Just make, just make Capcom Survival Horror Collection. Put it on modern hardware, kind of like the Mega, Mega Man collections, yeah? All the old, all the old Capcom horror games Holy shit. in one compilation. Just do it. Huh. I don't care if it's emulated. I, on the walls. I don't care if it's not remastered. I just, I just want to legally be able to purchase them, you know. Yeah, see? Uh, and if Capcom decides to remake Resident Evil 5 before remaking Code Veronica, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. And if Capcom remakes Resident Evil 5 and removes the boulder punch, then uh, I, I officially will hate that game. We absolutely fucking riot. I've already seen at least one article saying how the boulder punch should be removed if it gets a remake, and I'm like, you shut your fucking whore mouth, you fucking ingrate. You fucking donkey. What is wrong with you? Oh, the boulder punch is goofy. Yeah, that's the point. That's why we like it. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. You jackass. Again, like I said, also, bring back... Dino Crisis 3 to modern hardware. I don't care if it's terrible. Spa and stupid space dinosaurs. Just do it. Yeah, good enough. It was very silly. I forgot what outlet said it. I think it was the gamer. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if it was VG247 because I have a long history of thinking the people there are really, really dumb. I told this story before. I don't know if you heard it big. So when I was working at Naughty Dog, uh, we had a... Uh, there's Gamescom, right? Gamescom, I think this is 2015, right? And VG247 put out an article about how they played the floor demo for Uncharted 4. And it was a pretty negative preview uh, about how the game felt too similar to the older Uncharted games. There was no floor demo for Uncharted 4. There was no hands-on floor demo for Uncharted 4 at Gamescom. Nobody got to play Uncharted 4 at Gamescom. The demo that he played was for the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. You know, the remasters of Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And it was a demo specifically of the Uncharted 2 level. And there was ads and, and signposting all over that it was for Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. But this, this journalist was so stupid that he didn't read the signs and played the Uncharted 2 remaster demo and thought it was Uncharted 4 
and wrote an article about how Uncharted 4 felt too similar to old Uncharted games. And it was one of the funniest goddamn things I ever read, and he got so much shit for it. And I was like, good. Good. This man is dumb. This is a big, big dumb boy. This is a dumbo. This is basic ass shit, my guy. Hey, what demo is this that I'm about to play? Holy hell. Like, come on, guy. Come on. Uh, also bring Onimusha 2 through 4 to modern hardware, Capcom. Please. You brought Onimusha 1. And Onimusha 1's great. I like Onimusha 1. And, you know, I'm glad that it's on modern hardware. I can give you money. And I gave you money for it. But what about, what about 2 through 4? And they also got rid of the entire OST for Onimusha and replaced it with a new OST. Because Onimusha 1 was composed by the guy who did the... RE1 Director's Cut DualShock soundtrack who turned out to be a giant fucking hack fraud liar. Uh, for those, if you're unfamiliar with the story, uh, the, the f famous composer, I forgot his name, but he was the, the fellow who composed the, the new gloriously bad OST for, for, for uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut DualShock Edition and he also composed the OST for Onimusha, uh, was this uh, deaf composer. And I believe he, and he, he also like did some stuff for like the Olympics, and he's frequently cited as like the Japanese Beethoven. Uh, and then it came out in the last few years uh, that one, he actually wasn't deaf, and uh, two, he actually had a ghostwriter write all of his music, so he didn't actually write any of it. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Love it. This is this is this is the best. This is what I want more of. Comical hack fraudery. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. We gotta shoot the lock. Right. <clears throat> oh yeah, big. I don't know how well versed you are in the world of Puppet Combo slash Black Eyed Priest, but Sniper Killer is finally coming out next week. Hey, big guy. Big guy? Happy to see me again, huh? That's a game where you play as a sniper serial killer and also the cop trying to track down the sniper serial killer. I played the demo for it a year ago, and it's, it's dope. I can't wait. Me. That might be up your right. alley. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, boy. All right, hold on. Let me. I want to make sure we keep the dog alive. I don't remember how. Okay, we just have to complete QTEs. Uh, and I have auto QTE complete enabled. So, fuck it. Hopefully the dog will survive. <laughs> Other, if the dog doesn't survive, I'm immediately quitting the main menu. I will not stand for that. Yee. I think it's October 17th is when Sniper Don't Killer drops. Calm down. All I know is it's like my most like anticipated game of, the, uh, uh, game of the year. There goes nothing. After Night at the Gates of Hell and Booty Creek Cheek Freak and Blood Wash, I am, I'm there. I'm there all day, every day.
Apple. Also. See that? You do got moves. Don't I, Wolfie? Listen, game journals, it's, it's a slow day. It's a slow news day, Sarah. People, they, they have to write something. Sometimes, uh, sometimes game journalism is, is, or media journalism is, is really silly. And, you know, it's a slow news day. So that's why, you know, when the, uh, the trailer for Rise of Skywalker came, came out, uh, IGN managed to turn that three minute trailer into 23 different articles. It was great. It was great. 23 articles for a three minute trailer within the span of two hours. No! 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 I mean, that's unavoidable, but still, it always upsets me. Not like this. God, the frame rate is so fucking bad. Like, it's locked to 30 and they're still fucking stuttering. Not that canine, Saru. That's that canine is a scripted death, unfortunately. It's it's our it's our uh, gray wolf doggo friend. I just saw the doggo disappear. The doggo popped out of existence. <laughs> Devs, please. If you're going to remake a game, make sure it's not as and it's a one to one remake. Make sure it's not as buggy. Come on. Come on. What's the dog tea posing? Was the dog tea posing? No, I think it just warped into position. Like it was it was in a different position and then it warped. I would have loved to see a tea posing dog though. Hold on. We gotta We gotta tease it. We gotta tease it. Yeah, no tea posing. It just warped into position. Okay. Still. Yeah, it it I'm keep, it it keeps stuttering. It keeps hiccuping. It's weird. It's like Sony. You're gonna remake a, a nine-year-old game and charge seventy bucks for it, and release it for your console that has no games. You could at least make sure it runs well. No, it's a rat. We gotta save our ammo. Oh no! Get out of here! Huh? I don't remember which is the path, but whatever, we're gonna go straight. Hey! Hey, you get out of here, you fuck! Mike, you better reload. A Wendigo. Why don't you just Wendy go home? Bro, the gun! <laughs> Game. Game, please. Game, please. Y'all see that? He's not even holding the gun. Game, why? 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 Uh, I think the dog is on his own. He'll be fine, I think. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No way. No fucking way this is happening.
Oh no! Hey, I wasn't moving. Get out of here. Get out of here! It's a bad wind to go. Go away. Oh, left was the correct path. That's fine. Better not to hurt my doggo. Hey, good, there's a dog. Hey, where'd our gun go? Oh, there it is. You smelly old Wendigo! Get out of here, you fucker! Yes! Uh, the core gameplay of Until Dawn is primarily QTEs, but for the PS5 remaster, or remake rather, uh, they included a bunch of accessibility options that basically auto-complete them? You know, for people, mostly... Oh no, cute, cute, no. Shooting is not automatically done. You actually have to shoot. What the? What? Uh. But they're automatically completed. It's usually for, you know, people with, with, uh, uh. Some sort of, of, of inability to complete it, usually for, like, medical or uh, physical disabilities or whatnot. Uh, I just have them off because I, I don't fucking like QTEs. I know, and I know the QTE is the point of these games, but I still don't like QTEs, but I like the games. Some might call me old hack piss baby uh, uh, for turning off QTEs, and you know, that's fine. I don't give a shit. Besides, I already platinum this game on PS4, goddammit. No! Get out of here! So, <laughs> Mike never reloads. This is fucking sawing off, my guy. You've been out of ammo for a while. This dude has fucking got infinite ammo code enabled. Hey, you get away from me, you sneaky little boy. Get out of here. It's a bad Wendigo. Get out of here. See, Sarah, this is how you deal with Wendigo. You just treat him like like a pesky, pesky, annoying little, like, like, thing. You just gotta, you just gotta be firm with him. Like the ghosts, the ghosts in in until uh, not until then, uh, phasmophobia. Hey! Oh, uh, and I guess fun fact for anybody who's never played Until Dawn. Uh, Mike literally cannot die until the the final chapter of the game at the very, very end. So... Mike is actually never- Mike and Sam are never at risk of dying until the very end of the game. Everybody else, though? Fodder. They could die whenever.
But yeah, I miss I miss the color grading, and also miss playing this at sixty frames a second. The doggo is fine, I think. I believe. He's probably up ahead and doing doggo stuff. Because if the doggo dies, they'll make a point of showing us that the doggo dies. No. The bad one to go. Get out of here. I'm sick of your shit. Yeah, it's just doing recon. It's looking for butts to sniff. Looking for kibble. No! See, there he is. Come on down. It's all right. Okie dokie, bud. Yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side, huh? The doggo has survived. Good doggo. Oh no. Hey. Oh no! Oh, the dog's fine. The dog survives. Jess! She's gonna have sex and it's gonna be hot. Yeah, it wasn't great. Also, I don't know why Sony would want to remake it anyway. It seems like it, that'd be, like, the more expensive option than just port it. You know? Come on, guys. Hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of gimping out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe you should go on without me. No. Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Butterfly effect. Sarah, you love the butterfly effect. Hey, you stop that. I still wish there was a fucking run button, though. Got all these buttons on this fucking controller, and there's no goddamn run button. Nah, he's right behind me. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap! There's gotta be another way in. Wait. Hey. What about this? 
I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. But I gotta be careful at like one of these manhole covers. One of these Maybe manhole covers is a bamboozle. Place I would want to be right now. Who's going first? <laughs> After you. Fuck you, Emily. I could have thrown you into a rock crusher and I didn't. God damn it. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? Uh, Jersey? Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I'm trying, Ash. So I don't even remember Chris getting hurt, so I don't... His foot just clipped through the bar. God damn, the dev team... I don't want to be too harsh on the dev team for this, because they got closed down right after this game went gold. Or had a shit ton of layoffs, or something like that. Hey, um... Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it, but we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? But, like, goddamn, yeah. man. I don't know, some of these are minor, sure, like, like visual hiccups and whatnot, but it's... If I was given the sanction that that shit for similar stuff, I'm gonna give this shit for that as well, goddammit. A lot of this I don't even remember from ye old until dawn. Yeah, I think the bamboozle's coming up. Just have to ensure we don't fall for the bamboozle. Oh, and that's the bamboozle. Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? I'm pretty sure that's the bamboozle. No, we're rejoining the group. Hello? We're not Scooby doing this. That's a bamboozle. I'm calling it. Yeah, Konami. This is what Ascension should have been. I mean, Ascension still would have been terrible. But, uh, you know, at least there'd be gameplay. Oh my god, I am so glad to see you. Glad you're safe. Look. Look there. Wow, great. Clutter's toast, we're never gonna make it up there. No, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Good luck! Oh, okay. I haven't seen Matt in a while. Hold on. Status and collectibles. Uh. Yeah, 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 I don't care. I thought that would have actually shown who's alive, but whatever. We gotta leap. Wait. Now. Uh. 
past the Seru on the left hand side. I beat you. I fucking beat you. Uh, also, if anybody's looking for a good uh, spooky horror movie that is about a Wendigo, uh, I highly recommend Ravenous. Uh, it's it, it it does different shit with the the Wendigo, but it does use the whole cannibalism shit. Ravenous is a very very good movie. Uh, and if you like a lot of homoerotic subtext in your horror movies, then you'll love Ravenous. It's got Guy Pearce and Robert Carlyle. And David Arquette. Oh, okay, maybe that's the way. Maybe this is side shit. I don't know. Because I know we gotta... At some... Okay, I think maybe that's the fuck. As it's like a Sam and Mike. We have to find something in order to keep Josh alive. I don't remember where it is. I... As like the one collectible that I definitely need to find, otherwise Josh is gonna die. Oh. Oh, that's who died. And if you like uh, uh, other Western horror, if you want another Western horror uh, recommendation that also has David Arquette in it, and also deals with cannibalism, but not the Wendigo, uh, then check out Bone Tomahawk. Hey! Oh shit! Yeah, I hear. And Bone Tomahawk has like one of the most shockingly violent scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Whoa. All right. Uh, define all right. Alive for a start. Yeah, yeah, life's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. I guess it's next chapter. Maybe. <laughs> hey! Alright, chapter. Final chapter. I guess we're finishing it tonight. Anyways, final BRB, baby. See you in a few. Well, at least I came back from BRB, and it's not end of the dark. <laughs> but I guess I should add more. I mean, I already said it, but I, I gotta add more st stuff to the BRB thing. One hour until dawn! I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. You just won't listen to me and things seems pretty... <laughs> ...fucked up. Hmm. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away. And now you're all alone. <laughs> the 
tell by the sounds of things you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. So also for context for people who are unfamiliar, uh, Dr. Hill is a figment of Josh's imag imagination, but he is also based off of a character uh, who is unseen, who is actually Josh's, uh, I think, psychiatrist? Uh, and the real Dr. Hill is like actually like a normal dude who's super concerned about Josh, but this version is, is kind of antagonistic. I think it's just as Sam and Mike that I need to find something. Oh no! You're not real. You're all alone down there. No, 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 not again. <clears throat> Tried to find you. There's so much weird shit happening up there that wouldn't even begin to surprise me. Water wheel area. Someone was capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when it blew the place up. <laughs> Smooth move. I think we're close to the lair. How can you tell? I don't know. I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Did I? I really don't want to go in there. There's no other way through. All right. Compressor is enabled. Eh. Eh, eh, eh.
Uh, yeah, no, it's added. Uh, it doesn't do three, uh, uh, semicolon one. It's, uh, like three point oh. Oh, no, no, there we go. I see what you mean. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hello! Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, hello. All right. How'd that work? Fuck you! Mike. Oh, good. Is that what I think it is? Shit. Looks like a grave. Oh, was it cut off? Or was it too loud? Whatever, it's 4-1 now. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm a very loud dude. Oh, oh God. Mike, this is Beth. This is her watch. What? Let me see. Look, there was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. But who dug her up? Let's keep moving. Testing! I'm loud! Hello! What about that? Was it cut off? Uh, I mean, no, that's, that's fine. Whatever. If you get a surprise doggo fart, fart, that's fine. I'm going in. I'll fuck around with it more later. You sure? I'm not dead yet. Famous last words. Let me crank this bad boy back up. <laughs> Testing! Hello! Just keep Was it cut off? Although yours are great. Never mind. Hey, water wheel area. Water wheel area. I thought you reached the deepest part. Well, I didn't say that. Thank you. Uh, ha, ha. Fuck. Muted a little. All right. Going back there. Uh, okay. Mike was going that way. I'm assuming that's progression, or I'm hoping that's progression. Because we need to find something in order to keep Joshy Poo alive. I am hoping... It is this. Wait, is this it? Is this it? Yes. survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. Hey, see, it took her It took her a month, Pren. But after 30 days of, of being trapped down in the mines... Oh, Cicero. 30 days of being trapped down in the mines, uh... She cannibalized her sister's corpse. All right, Josh is going to be alive. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's Michael. Snorcheck? Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth we'll do five. So what? Five one. So Hannah Testing. Hello, hello. God damn it. Uh, uh, God damn it. 
Fuck, 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 I don't want to be too loud because I don't want to wake people up, but. We need to find Josh. Right now. Okay, good. That was it. Alright, good. We gooch. Good, that means when JoJo rips ass, everyone will be able to hear JoJo's wicked, rancid farts, if it's a loud fart anyway. JoJo doesn't really have loud farts. He does the silent squeakers that are just heinous heinous. Listen, I take full responsibility for my farts, Niku. But JoJo's farts are rancid. He is a stinky boy. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Hey, it's looking up again. We're gonna make it. God, don't jinx it. He is a very stinky boy. But he's a very he's a very affectionate boy. And I finally have proof because Prinny and Jeff met Jojo. They can attest to how silly and affectionate that boy is. He's a slut for attention. Oh no! True. The only thing more powerful than JoJo's farts is the sound Niku's che uh, cheeks make when they clap. This is the first time Niku's cheeks clapped. It caused a big bang. Josh? You can't Buddy. tell me what to do anymore! You can't tell me what to do! Oh, okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Oh! 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 What's the matter with me? He's tripping or something. Josh! M Mike, Josh, hey man, don't, don't hit me, please, please, please. You were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back, Josh. And it was down here for weeks, a month. She dug us up. Sam, Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay, Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. See that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Oh no! Hey, there's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay, if you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah, yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Hey, you too. All right, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, you, didn't, you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong.
No, Mike. Yeah, there we go. Josh has survived until dawn. If we didn't find that journal, uh, Hannah would have smashed his head in. His head would have exploded. Oh, there's Matt. Fucking finally. My guy. Keep these two alive. I don't remember what I gotta do. Hopefully, we can keep them alive until dawn. Okay, so the correlation is the fact that uh, it's it's a little loosey goosey, but the correlation is, I guess, because of the fact that Josh recognized that that was Hannah and called out Hannah's name. It like, I guess, maybe signaled to the Hannah Wendigoon, "Hey, I'm gonna keep him alive." Uh, or as if he didn't recognize her, uh, she's maybe upset that he's leaving and then smashes his head in. I think. It's a little loosey-goosey. A little flimsy, but, you know, it's fine. It's serviceable. Because if Sam and uh, Mike didn't see the journal, they wouldn't have known that Hannah became a Wendigoon. A Wendigoon. Wendigo! It is. Incidentally, uh, Wendigoon's a good YouTube channel, so... Feel like spooky shit. He's got a good, uh, like three, four hour. Fuck it, we're gonna run. Three, four hour plot synopsis breakdown and analysis of, uh. Oh, fuck. We had to hide. <laughs> uh, good three, four hour plot synopsis of, uh, slash analysis of, um, Cormac McCarthy's, uh, Blood Meridian. Yeah, Jess is about to get her head ripped open, uh, Sarah. First wrong choice in the game, baby. Let's go. <laughs> It's fine. We didn't start too far back. And Blood Meridian's an intense novel. I haven't read it, but just based off the plot analysis, it's a it's a fucking intense ass book. That might have been the first time I heard the name Wendigo. Uh, was like an X-Men 
figurine action figure from the cartoon. I don't know. I think the first time I ever realized or, or heard of it was from some TV horror movie. Or, or some horror movie about a one to go. Uh, and then later when I watched Ravenous. There's a few, there's a few different, uh, horror, horror, pieces of horror media that use a Wendigo. Does this hurt? Alright. I remember playing Until Dawn for the first time, being like, yeah, spooky horror movie slasher game. And then I was like, oh shit, it's about a Wendigo. I know what that is. Vaguely. I vaguely remember the all grown up special. <sighs> didn't didn't the Wendigo character from X Men? He was like he had a red outfit and like blonde hair or something like that. I think. Or am I thinking of a different character? Omega Red, there we go. See, I'm not I'm not super super big into comics. Or comic book media. So I, I have vague surface level memory of action figures and toys and bits and bobs from cartoons and then stuff from the MCU and then occasional readings on Wikipedia. Because I'll just do deep dives on, on various topics that I'm unfamiliar with, or even stuff that I am familiar with. Uh, what are you looking at? Uh, whatever. It's because I like reading about stuff. I also watch a, a bunch of video essays even on stuff that I'm not terribly interested in just because if, if somebody's a really good video essayist uh, or at least you know makes good videos and, and is charismatic and whatnot uh, it's 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 solid background noise uh, all white all white furry got it Like, Friendly Space Ninja makes a lot of video essays on, on, like, teen dramas and shit that I don't really care about. Uh, but I like his style for the most part. I like his videos. So I'm semi-versed in the world of fucking Gossip Girl now. And Pretty Little Liars. No! <laughs> so Sam should be absolutely safe until we get to the house. What do you mean, that YouTuber? For, oh, Friendly Space Ninja? Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, I don't think he is. I mean, he might have a drawing of that somewhere, but I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Friendly Space Ninja is, I think, from France or French Canadian. And he also makes music. Alright, I think we're at the final scene. I think. Or we're damn near close to it. Oh, don't worry about it. God, what an awful way to go. Not good. What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. What about a Nikago? Like a Wendigo, but it's Niku. If there's anyone left, they're probably in the basement. Niku, if you became a Wendigo, would you still have a fat ass dumper that was dummy thick? How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Hey, that was a poster for the innkeepers. I've seen that movie. I forgot this actually has horror movie posters. I don't know what the other one is. I like the innkeepers, but it's a little on the slow side. Uh-oh. We're about to get a one to go down. Other one to go are uh, like miners from the 1800s or patients at the asylum from like 50 years ago. And then this one's Hannah. I'm pretty sure this one's Hannah.
don't know. Get fucked. Oh, butterfly effect. I miss the sex bots. she was down there but I know I heard her he held it right up to my face right here right in front of my nose and he could have shot me he almost shot me the prick oh fuck you Emily out with a guy for however long and you think you know him but man this one really takes the cake I was right there and I could have done something I tried to do something it wasn't good enough Yes. I thought we were close. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. You bringing in Meat Brain next? Gonna kick him around a bit for me? I'm sorry? Meat Brain, Mr. Muscle Brawn, Matt the Incredible Sulk. Is there something we need to know? Oh, no, nothing important except, um, you know, how he basically left me to die. Oh, fuck you. Tumbling tower like a world class douche nozzle. Fuck you. Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> She said she heard you calling out. Not me. Wait. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. 
doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Ah, uh, okay. Alex Myers, then. No, I was pretty sure this also was oh death. I'm not listening to your fucking new song. Fuck that. I'm editing old death back in. God damn it. You gotta tell Aunt Rody, Nico. Won't you spare me over till another year? Oh, oh death. Nico, you love O oh Death. Fine, just for you, Nico. Just for you, Nico. It's only for Nico, though. Thanks, Prim. She bow bow bow.
All right, we need something else because the credits are still going on. Uh, so fuck it. Tougher than knuckles, you can call me knuckles. Unlike knuckles, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my knuckles. I'm hard as knuckles. It ain't hard to chuckle. I break them down whether they knuckles. Up knuckles. Unlike knuckles, I'm independent since my first chuckle. First knuckles, feel the knuckles, then no knuckle chuckle. Born on an island in the knuckles. The common knuckles flows inside me. My doo doo flows streaking blood. Cleanse yourself. No. Uh, yeah. I will be the one to set your knuckles free, true. Cleanse yourself with them common stains that's in you. Streaking doo doo loud sounds are the elements that keep me coming. I am fucking my own ancestors. Nothing's gonna stand in my way. Knuckles. Don't rely on knuckles. It's this power to fight back the doo doo and blood. This is knuckles. Gonna fight for Nico, Nico, Nico. You gotta fight for Nico, Nico, Nico. Here I come, rougher than the rest of them, the best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Sonic. Unlike knuckles, I don't flex my muscles. I rather jump. Hey, Roshi. We're at the end of the stream. I'm just meaning. I have no ass. Don't approve of him, but God bless him. This Sonic fucking has suffered first. This flows in Sonic fucking ass. Damn, the credits are still going on. The new porky pine on the knuckles with the knuckles. Out the knuckles with the rugged knuckles. Cock, cock is cockles. The knuckle thrower. Independent cock holds. Magical cock holder. Give you the knuckles. Shoulder. My cock goes through boulders. That's why I flex my boner. I'm hard as nails. I don't need a pot. I get it all by myself. Adversaries get come. Oh, no. I forgot about the rough rough on my dog. Oh, it's skittens. Okay, we're at the fucking copyright shit. All right.
Rules of nature has to has to wait. Pepsi Man has to wait for another day. Hurry up! Oh my god, Until Dawn did it as well? That's actually a classy move! I was just praising Silent Hill 2 for doing that! This should be the industry standard of crediting the entire original dev team! In your video game remake or remaster! Even if it means the credits now, like, last 67 years. Uh, well, I guess... <clears throat> since this is fucking going on... Uh... Is that... yeah, Turbo. Gonna find some goofy ass shit. I think most of these are just anime or uh or maybe we're no. <coughs> they, they fucking have Odess credited, but Odess not in the fucking game? The fuck? The fuck did you stick O death? Yeah, no, this 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 is this this channel wasn't a good idea. No, we've had enough knuckles. Um Yeah, fuck it. All right, there we go. Yeah, the song, Little Death. Seru, you love O-Death. That's why they call you O-Death Seru. He's sitting here trying to be a nice boy and not skip the credits. And it goes on for 20 years. Oh my god! Oh, we're finally there. Unless, like, another set chunk of credits come up. Give me that post credit scene, baby! Oh no! Josh is now a Wendigo! Oh my god, there's another fucking post credit scene. This is new. Oh my god, they're doing a fucking sequel tease.
Why? I mean, th this entire scene is new, Niku. Uh... What the fuck? I'm up. I'm up. Oh my god, they actually got Hayden back to do new shit. We did get the best ending, Niku. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the epilogue that happens if Josh survives, yes. Josh's fate is either uh, he has his head crushed in and he dies, or he becomes a Wendigo. So I guess they're making it, or somebody is making it until Dawn 2? But yeah, we got every, we got every survivor, we got everybody to survive. Uh... I had notifications turned off because I was doing some uh, recording. But uh, yeah, here. Uh, no, that's not earned. New, it's earned, yeah. All eight friends survived. We, we, we respected the wildlife of the mountain. Oh, we only earned two trophies tonight. Or never mind, that, that was uh, at the end, I guess. Uh, full playthrough. Mike saved Jessica. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> oh, do all these trophies pop at the end of the game? That's wild. Uh, yeah. So yeah, all all that's left is uh finding all the collectibles. Uh, everybody dies. Uh, collectibles, collectibles, and whatever the fuck the hidden trophies are, probably related to deaths. Uh, new interactables, all 36 totems. Yeah, true ending Niku, that's what they're going to call you from now on. So yeah, uh, I don't, I, I will be back tomorrow doing something, I don't know what, we'll figure it out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send you all on over to Rio09, who's also doing another horror game which is also a horror remake, is doing the Dead Space remake. Uh, I personally didn't care for it, but, you know, I'm a hipster contrarian, and almost everybody likes it, so, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, y'all take care of yourselves, stay safe, be excellent to each other, thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you all have a good night. Farewell.